Uh, other options we have right here is OpenGL texture options. Remember, all of these options, what we look right now, this is affect our 3D view or other view. It does not affect how we render. For the render settings, we need to go inside the render options. So this is, again, it's only for the view or our 3D render view when we um, working in our planes. So then let's look right here. We have op OpenGL texture options, but we can apply textures too. So and this is will apply textures to the plant, uh, primitives, or some other texture maps. And in some case, you want to preview how it will look. That will also texture will include the alpha map. So example, let's look right here. We have a couple of trees. And if I says do not apply texture options to our tree, so it's one cut off alpha maps for the, our leaves. It will just use it as a polygon. So let's click OK. And you notice right here our tree changed. So now instead of those leaves and branches, we see in our main camera preview or our other views just those polygons which apply it so it does not represent for the plants very well. However, you can see our render does not affect it by that options. So let's go back okay, to our options. And again, right here is applied to the plants. Same things apply to primitives, polygon meshes if we import models or other locket objects. So when you create object or upload it, the view always will try to determine what color to use to try to represent this object in view. And it's try to use this color wheel. After color, when it's possible, use it. If you disable, you can um, will be assigned default. But in this case, you can see right on our preview, it's using colors. And it will use this after colors till you assign specific uh, different color. And you, if, if you remember, it's when you're going to the object. And right here, we can go and assign specific to this. So now, you can see we assign specific highlight color or the color we used color wheel so we can preview the plants. So it's if you override it, it will use it. Otherwise, the options um, after made it will use it in this case right here. Use after color. The next, we have it um, open gel lighting. And these options is after made if you're using open gel to one, you need to switch to open gel um, fix it hardware to enable these options. So if we switch to this, you'll notice it's ask us to restart the application. So let me go ahead and restart and we can access and preview this. Okay, so after application restart, you'll notice now this options is enabled for us. So we can specify how many maximum OpenGL lights using send. So when we're creating Again, this is effect only preview, not the render. So if we create light sources around, this is will open GL will enable preview accurate for us how light distributed from this object inside the scenery. They also notice we have an accurate sun shadow preview. And when is this enabled? We can see all these realistic shadows and decay from the sun or from the directional light that first is created. So if we don't have a sunlight and you create a directional light, so the first directional light is what will affect here as a sun preview. Also notice as long as this is enabled, our clip object under first horizontal plane, so this is first horizontal plane right here as a ground, that is gray out. So if we uncheck, this is will be come to clip enable for us, so it's as default. And again, um, if you have a ground or you have a different uh, plane, the first plane that will be affected as well as a first directional sun, uh, directional light will affect as a sunlight right here. Okay, and next we op have it open GL atmosphere preview. The color right here will calculating from the view. It does not take an account of the clouds when it's calculating for the preview colors. We also have it options to preview a lens flare if a light going directly to this, preview the planets created, and preview uh, clouds if we create in a background. 
The next options, it's a preview dynamic ecosystem. So when we're creating our planes and apply ecosystem, we can enable preview. The options right here is allowed us to says how, what is maximum size on the pixels we want to see instance in our preview. So five pixels, it is um, kind of nice far away size, but in many cases with new high resolution monitors, you may be even only says minimum size to 10 pixels. So it will cut a little bit early. I find out with these properties, you don't need to render as much in the preview, it's faster, but on high resolution monitors, it's still um, a look quite a bit small details. Okay, so right now when we look on these properties, I'm going to switch back to OpenGL and all the settings, if I modify, they will be revert to the default values. So let me go ahead, save this and reload the application again. 